Yesterday there was a festival in Russia with lots of tableaux vivants uh, showing the Russian military at its height, losing various wars. And uh, President Putin appeared for three minutes and gave an impromptu speech, uh, to which everybody cheered and waved their Z signs around. Uh, today is Fatherland Day, and Mr. Putin has announced uh, that the country's nuclear-capable Sarmat intercontinental ballistic missiles will be moved to combat readiness. This is despite the fact that during Mr. Biden's visit uh, the other day, there were Sarmat tests which proved to be inconsequential or unsuccessful. In addition, uh, the president is going to continue the mass production of the Kinzhal hypersonic air base systems uh, that will start shipments um, uh, shortly. And there's also going to be the Zircon sea-based hypersonic missiles that will go to the military, as well as the Bore A nuclear submarines. Um, and uh, there's um, the, the troops apparently are going to receive new strike systems, surveillance and communication tools, drones and artillery systems. There's a lot of sabre rattling, but not very much substance in all of that. Most of that is stuff we already knew. So he's simply repeating um, what is already on record. And he's simply um, repeating the nuclear readiness, which he set in action this time last year. So although it all sounds very dire and it's not good, it's, um, there's not much new to report about it. Um, and um, I think the more important issue is his idea that he's going to suspend the START treaty, um, which is the only remaining nuclear arms control agreement between the US and Russia.